the channel, guys. <laughs> After uh, a two and a half month break, Ellie's decided to finish her uh, race build for. Uh, hopefully, racing is going to get started here within the next couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, here you go. Tag along, see how she gets on. There's no way you're gonna use that, is there? Yeah. Sorry. Not actually. Yeah. Okay. Right, so Ellie, what is your plan? Make it drive. Ellie's plan, guys, is to make it drive. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do with this? I don't know. Yep, that's exactly it. That's good. Mine's far bigger than yours. Guys, do you want to see this? Ellie's got a small one. She's got a wee tiny ESC. And I've got a big one. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully give us a bit more room. You know what they say about ESCs? More than a handful's a waste. <laughs> oh, how's she falling? should have another wee mount from Stephen Bond SB Designs on Facebook guys if I can find where I put them the switch will mount there that'll run up the ESC so I'll just give us I, we've already given this a clean with uh, dog hair <laughs> <laughs> already give us a rub of sandpaper so we'll just give it a wee clean give us a wee clean and we'll stick us on with some double sided tape the camera on <laughs> right. we need a plan <laughs> so if that's going to be stick stick that we get it there what way do you want to have your wires what way you might your battery are you going to do similar to that what I have that angle yeah Okay, and we'll just put that in like that. We'll meet up and come around something like that then. And those wires just do the same thing. Just run them sort of like that. And cable tie them. Same as mine or I always think the reason why I do that is if you ever have to take the motor out. The actual wee bit of length you've got to pull motor yeah. in and out. So, <laughs> guys, I like the I like a long wire for if uh, you're ever working at the car. They say a short one is better because the shorter the wire. the more little the resistance is going to be. <laughs> but, with a long wire, you've got more to play with. <laughs> oh, with a long wire, right like this, that'll allow, that'll allow you to pull the motor out if you have to change pinions or something. That's the reason why I go for a longer wire. Ellie, have you got a preference? <laughs> Would you prefer the wire shorter or longer? <laughs> Ellie, do you, would you prefer a longer wire? No comment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> longer one, probably. Longer one, yes, okay. <laughs> Like father, like daughter. We both like a longer wire for the ESC to the motor. Right. 
think I should put all these bloopers together in the video <laughs> and show them up and we're posting it. Unless you're actually going to post yeah. them. I'll see here. Plus and negative. Yes. And then these ones. What have you got there? A, B, C. And you look A, B, C. So it's a censored system. You have to make sure and get it in the right way, guys. So you have an ABC on the receiver and an ABC on the motor. So you have to make sure when you're soldering up to match them. Uh, on a non-censored motor, it doesn't really matter what way around you put them. Um, if the motor's turning the wrong way, you can reverse it in the ESC or you just swap any two of these wires around and the motor will turn in another direction. But uh, join us in a minute or two. We're going to get the wires all tinned with our own solder and we're going to tin the posts on the motor and the ESC. Those wires are already tinned, but I find it easier if we put our own solder on. You add a bit of solder onto the tip because it helps with uh, heat transfer. Heat that up and add a bit of your own solder into the pool. That's one done, and you just move along. The next one, you'll have a bit of solder, helps the heat transfer, and you see that sucking all the solder into the wire. You do the same with the third one. If you add that into the base where the pool is already, it'll start once it touches, it starts to go easier. Hold on a wee bit more. Oh. Should you take it off slowly? That's it. Now yeah, what you'll want to do is clean your solder in there. Bite it, pushing it in and out of that a few times. Mm -hmm. Alright. And add a wee dab of your own solder onto the tip. What is this? Yeah. Stop. Okay, that's you. And do the same as what you've done the last time. Remember add the solder into where the pool is, it'll help it to get started. No, no, you didn't get enough on it. You didn't see it. You'll actually see it soaking into the top once you do it. Yeah. And all of the other ones then. If you want that turned a little bit. Once you add it in, did enough go on that I didn't really see that taking a big lad in? Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's fine. guys when you're doing the ESC always clean first drop the solder on to help with conductivity and just a blob fill in the wee groove that's all you need and you just need to do the same thing on all of do I put more solder in this? If you want, clean it every time, it'll give you for a better connection. Put a drop of solder on one side, the side that you touch, that's the side you'll go in with your solder. Just hold it straight up and down, straight up and down nearly, yeah. You need to touch it on, no, you need to be holding your solder and iron on. No. It's just blobbed on. You, have, you, were, you were scared of it, you need to hold that on a wee bit longer, actually hold it on to that post. I don't want to remove some of that. <laughs> no, that's spot on. There's nothing wrong with that. There's that's, a lot of it. That's, no, that's the same as mine, it's perfect. And do the same again to the third one. You might clean that first, add a bit of solder on. But you, what you're trying to do is you actually want to heat this post enough that that down. sticks. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you actually want it to stick to that. Right, I'm the solder yeah, that just helps with the, the heat conducting. 
Put left down up yet, keep that on the whole time you're soldering. And then when you lift it up it will flow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When you do that and lift it off, the heat comes off straight away. Nothing wrong with that. Don't forget to clean again. And I say you just add and once you lift slowly, you should see the solder run around. Spot on, and the same with uh, the last one. Mm. This is different than I did in school. It didn't teach us very well. Perfect. Guys, I don't know if you can see. Pretty good. And you want to do the same to these three tabs <coughs> up here. But you don't want, you want to put plenty of solder on, but you don't want it to flow between. You know, you want them to join up. Yeah. So do I. Do I do it? Do you want me to do one and show you? I don't know. It's just the same, it's actually the same process, it's no different. You know, you might want to go. Whatever way you're comfortable at going at an angle, you yeah. position it whatever way you want. But you need to make sure that's clean and then yes. add. But it can oxidize really quickly. And you want that solder to actually touch so that's what transfers the heat. Mm, I think I don't do that very well. What's that? Right. <coughs> right. Put a solder on that, hold that on, then add your solder, bring it across slowly so you can create the wee poo. Okay? Yeah. If you need to add more, you can add a wee touch more. That's scary. You get the longer bit of solder. You, that's blowing right at your hands when you're watching it. Not enough. You put your solder, touch your solder, not onto the iron, but onto the piece you're soldering. Perfect. And then the last one. You just gotta watch. See that wee bit of, see the way it blows at you there? Yeah. You can't, you could angle at it the other way if you needed. And then add that right down where the two meet, and that's where you want to put it in there. No. Down more, and in, down into the joint. Uh -huh. you, might, you might have enough on there. That might not work well. In touch. That's okay. And I'm just going to show Ellie how to do this one. Again, guys, I'm no expert. Nobody ever taught me, so. Again, a drop of solder. On the solder and iron. That makes sense. Because the solder's already there, so you don't need to add it. It makes it so much easier, we just have to make it touch. Dab a touch onto the dab there. The first time I could see that wasn't penetrating sort of instantly. When you touch that on, you want to see that all change colour. Yeah. If it doesn't, all you're doing is hold it on and the heat's going to transfer right through onto the board. The solder, the aim of the game is to get in and out as quick as you can. So, clean, solder, touch it on. Once it goes, you'll see it all go and lift it off. And because you already have the wire tinned and the pole tinned, that gives for a good connection. And you don't need to add any more solder.
the nicest. Okay. Go. I don't see anything. I don't see anything wrong with that at all. Thank you guys for the first attempt at soldering. Not bad. Well done, Ellie. I know, don't put it on yet. Because you have to set all this up. But it'll centralise. No, I mean, the new thing. I know. I'm sure you can do that in a minute once we get this done. Now, what you need to do is teach the ESC what neutral is, what full throttle is, and what full brake is. So, what you need to do is hold this button in, right? Turn it on, and as soon as you turn it on, then release. Okay? So, do that whole wee button in. Turn it on, release. Right now, that's asking where's neutral position. That's neutral position. Press the wee button once. Now, take out your left hand, pull full throttle, hold full throttle. Press the wee button again. Let go. Give it full break. Push the wee button again. Let go. Now, have you got? Try it and see, have you got any going forwards? Yeah. Have you got brake in reverse? In reverse? No. Did you let go? Try it now. Let me see. Now, farm port here. If we pull that wire, you'd see the way the black goes to what this side for when we're putting it back in. Do we point those pliers there? No. Pull that out. I'm going to put a program card in. And again, you've got your minus plus and your signal. So I'll go. And I said the black was to that side. So it plugs in. To the fan port, and hopefully, when we turn this on, this is going to light up. <coughs> right, running mode, forward and brake. I don't want that. So, you go to value, forward, reverse, brake. That's what we want. In fact, it's if, if it's bison at the minute. Yeah. Do you want forward, reverse, and brake? Yeah. And we'll have to now whenever you're racing. Change it racing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you select that. And then you go to item number three, lipo cells, auto. We're always going to be on four cells, so hit value. 4S. Hit okay. On the next one, cut off voltage. Auto. For racing. And Say it's four cells and you want to go down to say 3.2 per cell, that's 12.8. Alright. That's 11.8. I know that. No, you didn't. It was a test. Was it? 
that's a high voltage servo and that so we can go up to 7.4 brake force we're not going to know until you get out and try it so it's on 50% if they're too strong we can let it off or not enough we can put more reverse force is a 25 when we just try it if you need more we can give it more punch level 5 out of how many oh, wrong one. we'll go with 5 for now just to see <coughs> Dry break zero, coast, mutual range nine percent, drive mode full. S That's one thing we didn't put in. Where's your sensor wire? You put in or doing that? Yeah. Don't know why. Don't know why you kicked over to me. You took it off me. See your wick. Right now, we've got the steering right. What we need to do is set trims and then the end points. So, I feel like along that, that's turning to the right slightly. Points. So I usually set them when it's not dying. So that's still going there, but then it's going to. You just come, you don't want it. You want as much steering as you can, but not full. You don't want it to go more than it can and then put stress in the servo. It's not just back a little bit. Exactly. Turn on off. Steering so free. There we have it, folks. Uh, I think she's done great. Uh, not even just for the first time. I think she's done a fantastic job. Hopefully, this video will help somebody else out there. Uh, maybe get somebody else's daughter involved, show them they don't need to be scared. Um, all we need to do now is get Ellie to come out with or come up with a design for her shell. We'll get it painted and tidy up a couple of the wires and that's for her good to go. So as always guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button, that way you'll get notified of uh, future videos. And uh, as always, stay safe and see us next time. Bye bye.